All kind of deeds and comforting expressions of love shown to us during our time of bereavement. May God continue to bless each of you. I mean, as you can imagine, the cards, the church papers, the church cards, the quantity is too numerous that we could read them all on today. But rest assured, each one will be read at the leisure of the family in their own private time. On today, we will just be acknowledging a certain few that the family has chosen, the church papers, and we have about four resolutions. So we're gonna try to get through this quick. Bear with us. To the family, we, the Stevens Funeral Home family, are honored to have had the opportunity to serve your family. We believe the funeral service field is a ministry, a ministry of comfort. We hope and pray that our services have not only helped comfort you during this time, but also help ease the burden that comes along with the passing of a loved one. We thank you and we honor you. Please know you will continue to be in our prayers for the days to come. And that's from the Stevens Funeral Home. All right, we are acknowledging the following personal cards. Sister Ethelene Lemon, the Lucky family, the Council family, Sandy and Edward McSwain, Barbara and Charlene Ward. The churches, St. Rose United Holy Church, Lucama, North Carolina, Pastor Otis Finch. Bethel United Holy Church, Kenley, North Carolina, Pastor Daquan Deans. Open Door Fellowship, Baltimore, Maryland, Bishop Joel and the Elder Frida Anderson. The Flock of God Church Ministries, Pastor Ruth Council. True Mount Zion Apostolic Holiness Church, Hampton, Virginia, Pastor Annette Dickerson Jones. Temple of Praise Apostolic Holiness Church, Wilson, North Carolina, Pastor Sylvia Best. Willing Workers Apostolic Holiness Church, Lucama, North Carolina, Pastor Assistant Overseer Nathaniel Spells. St. Jude Apostolic Holiness Church, Wilson, North Carolina, Pastor Andrew Barber. St. John Apostolic Holiness Church, Black Creek, North Carolina, Pastor Vice Bishop Eloise Sessons. Messiah Hope, Temple Holy Church of Power, Baltimore, Maryland, Pastor Alex Walker. Winter Chapel Church, Holy Church of Power, Stokes, North Carolina, Pastor Quentin Branson. Little Grove Holy Church of Power, Evangelist, Min Evangelist Ministry, Washington, North Carolina, Pastor Lou Cindy Columbus. Tabernacle Temple of Jesus Christ, Wilson, North Carolina, Pastor Ida Hamilton, Overseer Apostle Marvin Smith. The Wilson District Union of the Apostolic Churches of America, the National Mass Choir of the Apostolic Churches of America, Three Tabernacle Apostolic Holiness Church, Kenley, North Carolina, Pastor Bishop Henry Cox, Holy Temple Apostolic Holiness Church, Wilson, North Carolina, Pastor Bishop Henry Cox. The St. Monica Missionary Baptist Church, Grindland, North Carolina. Presbytery 
covenant pastors and churches of Big Three Christian International Fellowship of Churches, joins me in offering our sincerest condolences to you and your family today. Although we did not know Mother Mark personally, it is evident that she left an indelible impression upon your life and the lives of countless others. In times like this, words are often inadequate to convey exactly what we feel. We certainly wish that we could be there with you during this time, but we know that the hands of our Father God can reach where we humanly cannot. However, we offer the word of the Lord as an antidote for your sorrow. The psalmist declared in Psalms 46 and 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. We commit you to his most capable hands, knowing that he is surely able to lift you, comfort, and sustain you in the days ahead. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Prayerfully. Mario L. Davis, Presiding Bishop and Chief Apostle, Victory Christian International Fellowship of Churches, Durham, Durham North Carolina. Resolution of Respect and Love and Memory of Evangelist Evelyn L. Jean Sherman Mark. Though your days among us seem brief, and we are grieved by your loss, we draw comfort from the knowledge that you have joined, you have found safe refuge in the arms of our Lord. We were blessed and are grateful for your faithful service to the missionary department of the General Apostolic Holiness Churches. Whereas Evangelist Evelyn Sherman Mark of Witcher Chapel Holiness Church, formerly of Holy Temple Apostolic Holiness Church, passed from this earthly life on May 25th, 2022, Death does not diminish the profound benediction of a life devoutly lived in godly service. And whereas Evangelist Evelyn Sherman Mark generously gave up her time and energy serving the General Apostolic Holiness Church as First Lady with the late Senior Bishop Albertus Mark, General Mother, Spiritual Advisor, and President of the Missionary Department from 2001 to 2013. The missionary department and the general apostolic church family are deeply saddened at her departure as we all were touched by her dedication, generous spirit, and kindnesses. And whereas Evangelist Evelyn Sherman Mark's legacy of faith and service will continue to inspire the officers and members of the general missionary department as with sincere appreciation, we acknowledge the gift of our time together and now, therefore, be it resolved that we bow to a greater will than our own and take comfort in the knowledge that one day we will be united with Evangelist Evelyn Sherman Mark again. First Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17 assures, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. Only submitted, Missionary Veronica Morgan, President and Officer of the Missionary Department of the General Apostolic Holiness Church on this day, June 5th, 2022. Health, excuse me, Healthy Choice Ministries the Cathedral, Bishop Aubrey A. Harley, presiding prelate. And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son, 1 John 5 and 11. Whereas we, the presiding prelate, leaders and members of Healthy Church Ministries, the Cathedral and International, only submit to the will of the Father as it has pleased him to call home his own faithful servants, Evangelist Evelyn Sherman Mark from labor to reward. Whereas Bishop Aubrey A. Harley and First Lady Cassandra C. Harley deeply sympathize along with you in the loss of your beloved matriarch, whom we know you love so dearly and whom we also personally love and cherish. Whereas we the leaders and members of Healthy Choice Ministries, the Cathedral International, do acknowledge her confession of faith and are grateful for the outstanding and loving service 
she faithfully rendered unto our Lord and Savior, to her church family, and to her natural family, friends, and loved ones. We trust in our Lord and are fully persuaded that Evangelist Sherman Mark has taken her eternal rest in him. Resolve that the life and presence of your beloved Evangelist Sherman Mark will be sorely missed by all who love and experience her here on this earth. May you hold fast to these words from Revelations 14 and 13. Blessed are they who die in the Lord, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Resolve that a copy of these resolutions be given to the family of Evangelist Evelyn Sherman Mark, and that they be archived in the records of Healthy Choice Ministries, should the church officials agree to the same. The most Reverend Aubrey A. Carley, presiding prelate and founder. Holy Church of Power Incorporated, resolution of respect and dedication to Evangelist Pastor Evelyn Mark, March 10, 1939, through May 25, 2022. Resolved to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, and we are assured that it has pleased the Almighty God to tra transition our beloved Evangelist Mark from labor to reward. Therefore, we can quote from our beloved Evangelist, 2 Timothy 4 and 7, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. And whereas God in his holy wisdom has called home another soldier from the battlefield, the office and members of the Holy Church of the Power Incorporated offer their sincere condolences to the family. Your sorrow is our sorrow. Your loss is magnified by the loss of a dear soul from our church family. And whereas Evangelist Pastor Mark of both Richard Chapel and Messiah Temple, Holy Churches of Power, beginning her tenure at Richard Chapel in March of 2013 and Messiah Temple in May of 2017, passed from this earthly life Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. And whereas our beloved national mother gave her life to Christ at an early age, and preached her initial sermon in May of 1969 at the age of 30. She was promoted and anointed to evangelist in 1973, and from there God elevated her to pastor in 1985. Evangelist Mark served the Holy Church of Power as national mother for a number of years, and whereas two of Evangelist Mark's favorite songs, Have You Tried Jesus, He's All Right, and didn't I tell you it would be all right? Yes, sir. Well, mother, you tried him, and it's all right now. Yes, it is. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the Holy Church of Power Incorporated bow in acceptance to the perfection of God's plan to yes, gather each of us into his merciful arms when we have fulfilled our purpose on this earth. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution shall be placed in the Holy Church of Power Incorporated archives and a copy will be presented to the family on this fifth day of June in the year of our Lord, 2022. Be confident today by the words of our Lord in Revelations 21 and 4, which says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Formerly sorrowfully submitted, presiding, presiding bishop, prelate, Clarence W. Brown, Jr., General Secretary, Sister Rita B. Johnson. Amen. And with that resolution, they, have, they do have a framed copy to be presented to the family. And I was told to present it to the oldest daughter, the oldest, you the oldest, okay, I'm coming.
to be a witness to this great woman of God. Amen. That left a life of legacy. Amen. I'm here to read her obituary. Amen. And we're going to read thus as it is said. The life and legacy. <coughs> Evelyn Jean Mark. Daughter of the late Bishop Monty Fleming Sr. and Mother Lona Fleming was born on March the 10th, 1939, in Pacalus, North Carolina. She was the youngest daughter of 17 children. Yes. She departed this life on May the 25th, 2022. <laughs> Ellen was reared in Pitt County, where she received her formative education from the Pitt County school system. She furthered her education with classes in biblical studies under the instruction of the late Dr. Shirley Atkinson at the Atlanta Christian College satellite location in Greenville, North Carolina. Uh -huh. She also received a certificate of completion from the Higher Learning Bible Institute in Wilson, North Carolina. Ellen received Christ as her personal savior in 1948 yeah. at the age of nine during a prayer meeting in her father's house. She was a member of Wilson Park Holy Church of Power under the leadership of the late Bishop John T. Whitley for six years. Yes. She then moved her membership to Messiah Holy Church of Power under the leadership of Dr. Linda May Bryant and remained there for 13 years. During this time, in December of 1957, she married the late Horace Sherman Sr. To this union, seven children were born. Also during this time, in May 1969, at the age of 30, she was called into the ministry. She evangelized for over 20 years. On May 9, 1981, Evelyn married the late Bishop Alberta Smart and became a member of the Greater Zion Apostolic Holiness Church. Baltimore, Maryland, where her late husband, Bishop Alberta Smart, was the pastor. She remained a member there until they relocated to Greenville, North Carolina, in 1984. In 1985, she began pastoring God's Holy Temple Church in Greenville, North Carolina, yes. and pastor for 14 years. Under her husband, Bishop Mark, leadership, she served as the general mother of the Apostolic Holiness Church of America organization for 27 years. She also served as president of the Missionary Convention for 14 years. After Hurricane Floyd destroyed God's Holy Temple Church in September of 1999, God led Evelyn to Holy Temple Apostolic and Holy Church in Wilson, North Carolina, under the leadership of Bishop Henry Lee Cox, where she worked faithfully for 14 years. In her later years, 2014, she transitioned back to her foundational church, Richard Chapel Holy Church of Power, in Stokes, North Carolina, under the leadership of Dr. Lester Andrews, and later under the leadership of her grandson, Pastor Quentin Branson, where she served as Southern District National Mother of the Holy Church of Power Organization. She continued serving there until she moved to Baltimore, Maryland, and transferred to Messiah Temple Church in May 2017. Under the leadership of Pastor Andrew Walker, and serve as trustee and Northern District National Mother of the Holy Church of Power. Evangelist Mark believed in living holy. She was a pillar in every church she attended. She worked on tirelessly leading her hands to many types of duties, from building a church from infancy to setting up Holy Communion to coordinating church dinners to training others about functioning in various aspects of the kingdom work. In her years,
years, she served in the music ministry as well, forming a group with her seven children called the Shermanettes. Church family 